Now, I think it's been a cool minute since we've been back on this thing, and it's about that time, ladies and gentlemen, that we show off the Kawhi Leonard build that we've been grinding for a while now. Got it to 99 overall, and hey, my people, I'm going to show you how to build this build today. 6-7 and all of his lockdown two-way abilities. Hey, it's that time, my people. So now it's time to get into the build, but if you are new to the channel, man, make sure to subscribe. Also like this video if you're excited about this Kawhi Leonard build, and also turn on those notifications. That way you get my upcoming 2K20 content and that 2K21 news. But besides that, guys, getting into the build, we're gonna start off slow because a lot of times in the past, you guys have said that my builds have been a little too quick and I'm getting way too fast into the gameplay. So what I'm gonna do is just take my time with this. So the position you're gonna roll with is shooting guard, right? And of course, if you go to the preset builds, they've disrespected Kawhi Leonard in this year's game. But outside of that, we're not going to mess with it. So you got the shooting guard right-handed. And this is going to be the focus of what you're going to be doing when it comes to this Kawhi Leonard build. Now, two things we have to account for in NBA 2K20 is play style and ability. And with that, man, you know we can't do everything a Kawhi Leonard does. But the main two things that I can point out in his games that I feel like we have to showcase is really his playmaking and defending ability this man can handle the ball for somebody his size very well and also can defend at an elite level guarding one through four effectively and efficiently at that so with that guys we're going to go ahead and go to the playmaking and defending pie chart this is the one you're going to want to use when trying to make this build now i made a mistake in the past if you guys saw my combo forward video by going with the vertical pie chart which this isn't a bad pie chart to go with but the main thing i noticed about Kawhi's game is that he's actually deceptively fast what that means is this dude is sneaky quick getting down the floor and can outrun a lot of people and in 2k20 having speed especially on a bigger player hey this may be the one you want to roll with on this one so we're gonna go with the agility pie chart which is the speed pie chart with this one now you see at the shooting guard position we have 435 attribute upgrades remaining and you see the speed acceleration and vertical already there so we're sitting pretty so far now when it comes to the finishing we're gonna max out all of this category right you see we're stuck at 10 but the focus here is to stay at 10 and save as many attribute upgrades as possible right so we're gonna drop this close shot right to where it says we still have 10 and still keep a one or two attribute upgrade point so that's a good look for us right there to get those out of the way so make sure you pay attention to those numbers now getting into the mid-range shot three-point shot all of that we want to max this out but in this same category go to the areas that you feel like you aren't gonna need that much just to keep a badge or two so we're gonna drop this by two so we just save two attribute upgrades keeping the badge points that we want and also going from there so with that guys we're in a position where we can make some changes here and there but let's go ahead and move on to the playmaking ability so we're gonna go ahead and max out ball handling off the rip and we're gonna get this pass accuracy up to around 11 playmaking badges i feel like this is the sweet spot for us because i'm somebody that believes that you don't need 20 playmaking badges as an off ball player you have to remember this isn't going to be the point guard of the team this also isn't going to be a main ball handler. This is going to be somebody that's going to be playing the two through the four. So that shooting guard, small forward, power forward, and they're going to be able to, whenever they get the ball, still handle, make passes, but they don't need 20 in order to try to do something on the floor. Now, as far as the defense, we're going to go perimeter, lateral, steal, block, defensive. Now, if you want to go ahead and save a few uh, attribute upgrades, you can go ahead and move interior defense over to playmaking and get you that 12th bash. That way you can have 12, 19 other than 11 and 19. But the difference I made, right? With this, I decided to drop my close shot to where I had nine. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this to interior defense in order to really truly be a lockdown that we're looking for man so with this you see we got 9 10 11 and 20. you still have the playmaking ability you have a strong defensive lineup and with that 20th defensive badge guys a lot of that is going to be adding to moving truck post move lockdown things of that nature when we're going against those bigs especially if 
teams need me to play the power forward or the three position or even drop down to the two, I'll have an abundance of badges in order to help my team out. So with this guys, this is the setup I went with for my Kawhi Leonard build. Now moving on to the body type, we're gonna go with the built body shape and the goal here is to get his height, which is 6'7", and you still see we got 88 speed there. That still is a good look for us. We're going to drop this weight to 180, and the reason is is because weight is arbitrary in 2K20. And the reason I say that is because at this point, you want to have the speed that Kawhi may have when he's playing versus the weight and then wingspan, right? Kawhi is still a shooter. Now, one thing I know about him that stands out, obviously, is that he has a long wingspan. He has big hands, et cetera, et cetera. But in 2K20, man, if you do that, you're not going to get the shooting ability that a Kawhi has, and you also won't get the ball handling ability. So we're going to go ahead and drop this down to minimum. I know a lot of you may be throwing up red flags right now saying that I'm doing the build wrong. But with this, guys, at 99 overall, I'm going to have an 82 ball handle. And at 99.9, .9, I'm going to have an 83, along with a 72 three-point shot at 99.9. .9. Now, with that, guys, this build is going to be an all-around dog, especially with the focus of Hall of Fame playmaking badges and Hall of Fame defensive badges. This is truly the closest Kawhi Leonard build I think I've seen on YouTube, period, from the ability to dribble, to be his height, and also have his ability, how he moves on the floor, pretty much. And with that, guys, you see the takeovers we get. It makes sense to Kawhi's game. You got the playmaker takeover. We've seen him do damage and do some crazy things in order to make plays for his team. Also got shot creator. With the mid-range sniper that he is, man, we could easily go with this and become an effective mid-range bust. And lockdown. Of course, I believe this is the best takeover for him, period. Slasher, we know what he can do at the rim. So either one of these works for you guys. If you want to recreate this build, I wouldn't be mad at either one. But as far as Kawhi, I know him for his effectiveness on the defensive end. And this dude here, man, hey, you got to go with it. And what you're going to get is a slasher. Now, we don't get the comparison to Kawhi Leonard because we don't technically have the weight as him. But as far as the closest thing to his ratings, you have a Jalen Brown, Victor Oladipo, Richard Hamilton. I really don't pay attention to that. But outside of that, guys, that is what it's looking like right now as far as the two-way slasher and Kawhi Leonard, man. Now, let's transition to show you this build at 99 overall right now. So this is what it's looking like, man. And you got to remember, this is the same specs that I just showed you guys. You see at 99, we have a 96 speed, 97 acceleration because I failed on the workout and only got a plus three. But I haven't got my gym rat batch. But once I get that, it'll be 96 speed, 97 acceleration, 81 vert, or actually 82 vert and 99 stamina. Now that's when I get my gym rat badge. But outside of that guys, you see what we're working with here. We get elite contact dunks and pro and all the alley-oops with 86 driving dunk. You see we got a 71 three point shot at a base 99, not 99.9, .9, but base 99. Mid range shot, that's still strong enough to hit those moving mid ranges. And also when you go into takeover, you can still pull up by any means. Post fade game, we still have that in our arsenal and it's respectable with the 76 overall rating. Now onto the playmaking and 82 ball handle. I'm still able to pull off all of the dribble moves and I still get quick first step hall of fame and tight handles goals. So you can't sleep on it. I'm not necessarily speed boosting, but at six, seven with an 82 ball handle, hey, we're doing some crazy things out here. And obviously the defense, which a lot of people don't really care about, but man, you know me and the two-way fan, man, hey, we gotta respect it. You see overall 80s across the board with lateral quickness, perimeter defense, steal and block, and a 93 defensive rebound. And this is something that's super sneaky because people don't expect me to horse and wreck and pro-am, which, Eventually, guys, we're going to have more Pro-Am content come to the channel. But with that, guys, this is what the progression is looking like at 99 overall for this Kawhi Leonard build. So with that, guys, you got a chance to look at the 99 overall Kawhi Leonard build. And I want to know from you guys, what do you think of the build? Once again, guys, you have to remember this is an off the ball build. Shooting guard, small forward, power forward. It doesn't need that many playmaking badges. And for those of you that feel like you need 20 playmaking badges, hey, kudos to you. 
I'm just one of those people that feel like I don't need it because I can still do what I got to do. But with that, guys, make sure to like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on those notifications and be on the lookout for some more 2K20 content, man. And hey, I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next one.